What are you saying people? Back with a bang. This is the Money Management. Happy Saturday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about eight different businesses that I started for absolutely nothing. Now, the reason I want to do this today is because actually last night, just before I went to bed, I made another sale for my smartwatches. So that means, of course, I made money while I was lying down doing nothing. And that had me thinking, you know, if I can do this, I'm sure many more people in the world can do this. A lot of people don't know about this kind of stuff. A lot of people don't have the time to do this kind of stuff. A lot of people are just so used to being told to work for money that they don't think about, you know, trying something else out. That being said, you know, my smartwatch company, Time Gear Watches, is just one of the few ways I make money and only one of the few businesses I've started in my life. So like I said, I thought I'd just talk about eight different businesses that I have started and hopefully you guys start looking into these businesses so you guys can start, you know, doing your own thing and start making some money yourselves. Now, before we get into that today, I just want to say it is the weekend. You guys know what that means. On the weekend, we smash the like button on the weekend we comment on these videos we give a thumbs up and we also subscribe if we're new around here lastly especially on the weekends we share these videos with our friends so we can get them out to more people help more people out you know give them more ideas create a better network just overall share the love spread the love spread positivity and again help more people make some money now let's jump into those businesses that i was talking about that i started for absolutely nothing and you guys can go and start doing the same number one Flipping items. Of course, if you guys have been around here before, if you guys know me a little bit, you guys definitely knew that this was gonna come up somewhere along the line. I chose to do it first because it was one of the first things I learned. Flipping items comes in so many different forms. All you need to do to flip items is get on eBay, get on Amazon, get on Facebook Marketplace, get on Creators, get on any of those websites, even social media websites. Find items that you can buy for cheap and sell them for more. Let me tell you a few of the items I flip so you guys understand just how easy it is. Mattresses, doorbells, t-shirts, shoes, clothes, hats, drinks, water bottles, of course, iPhones, you guys knew about that one, and so much more. Flipping items is one of my favorite ways to make money, and to be honest, I've not been doing it enough recently. Like I said, you know, I love flipping items. You guys know I flipped doorbells a lot last year, and that made me a good bit of money. Flipping items comes in so many different forms, and if you're wondering how you can start this without any money, all you need to do is find things in your house that you can literally sell for more. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be an old TV, it can be your PlayStation, it can be your Nintendo Wii, it can be your water bottles. Find items that you can list online. If you guys have some nice clothes that you don't use anymore, you don't want anymore, same goes for shoes, list them online it is not difficult people will buy these things off you people are always interested in these things and if you're used to this kind of thing trust me when i say you get tons and tons of messages let me tell you whenever i see things that online where i'm like okay this could be flipped i just try it out that's how you know if it works or not like i said last year i flipped you know doorbells and the only reason i found out it worked because i just tried it out first but again if you don't have any money you're looking to start find items in your house once you start flipping a few items all you need to do is Take your profits, take that money and spend it back on the same thing. You already know it sells, you already know it's hot, you already know you can move it, so you do the same thing and you repeat the process. Two, social media management. Now this you can learn online for free. Most likely on YouTube you'll learn this, but I did this last year as well, during the summer. All I did was take Instagram accounts and build them up. All I needed to do was, you know, increase the followers, sometimes, you know, post on the story, every now and then a post on the main page, answer some DMs, but it's really not that difficult. A lot of business owners and a lot of brand owners do not have the time to be on social media. A lot of them are not used to social media, so all they need is someone to manage their social media accounts. For me, personally, I did it on Instagram, but you guys can do this on Twitter, I'm sure you can do it on Facebook. You can do it on a few different sites. Social media management is something I also enjoy, like I said, and again, you know, it's just a nice way to make some money. It might get you a few hundred bucks a month, it might get you a few thousand bucks a month, depending on how much you have to do, depending on how well you do it, depending on how much experience you have. Social media management is one of those ways that not a lot of people do because they don't know about it. But I'm here to tell you, social media management works if you want to make a bit of money for yourself. And like I said, it's just one of those businesses you can start for absolutely nothing. All it will take is a period of time where you learn, you research, you find out what works, you maybe even test some stuff out. But eventually when you can show that you can grow people's accounts, you can grow businesses, you can reach out to people, again, you're gonna get paid for what you can do. Three. Drop shipping. So you guys have probably you know, seen screenshots of people making crazy money just like this. But Shopify drop shipping and also you know ClickFunnels drop shipping, it really is a thing. People do make silly money with those kind of websites. And the reason why, again, is because it's hot. You know, it might have died down a little bit more this year, but again, I say 2016 to 2019, oh trust me, it was hot. People were doing it, people were making all sorts of crazy money on it. Drop shipping was something I did more from October to about March of this year. And I'm probably gonna go back into it soon. But again, I made some nice money, some extra change. And again, you can start for absolutely nothing. Now, for those of you who don't know what dropshipping actually is and you're wondering, it's pretty simple. All you do is you find a manufacturer on any of those websites, AliExpress, DHK, Alibaba, even Amazon if you want. And all you need to do is find a product they're selling. Now, once you've done that, you set up a website, make it look nice, you know, make it fancy, and you start selling that product on that website. But here's where you make your money. Either you raise the price of the product you're selling compared to what the original was for, or for example, what I like to do with my ClickFunnels account is start adding some upsells. That's where I really make my money. So in this case, if you want, so a good example in this case would be, let's say you're selling dog toys or dog socks or anything. You would set up something on a website. Let's say it was dog pet bowls. You find on Amazon some dog pet bowls which are being sold. They sell for 10 bucks. 
you set up a website, you know, make it nice, show a video, show some pictures, you list it for 15 bucks. Now you get traffic to your website from Facebook ads, from Instagram ads, from influencers, whatever you want to do. And once you do that, people start purchasing. But what you've done on your website, and what I like to do on my website again, when it comes to upsells, is add in there, you know, a dog water bottle for an extra five bucks, a dog toy for an extra 10 bucks. These are the kind of products you can add to the main product. And again, this is where you make some good money. Like I said, you set up a website, get traffic to your website, and make your sales. Now the good thing is, you don't have to hold any inventory. You don't have to deal with any customer complaints. You don't have to deal with any of that. You're a middleman between a manufacturer and an end customer. It's that simple. Dropshipping is a great way to get started to make some money online. I definitely say it's not a long-term business model for those of you who are looking for that kind of thing. But short-term, it's definitely a good way, again, to make some money. Four, starting a blog. Now, this is something I did, you know, around August to December last year. And you're probably wondering, how do you make money off starting a blog? Well, the important thing here is that you build an audience. It could come in the form of you know traffic from social media accounts. It come in the form of you advertising on other blog pages. It can come in a few different forms. I'm sure many of you guys are creative enough to write a blog, but you've not tried it yet. For me, I did a sports blog and got traffic there. For you guys, it can be about anything. It can be about watches. It can be about clothes. It can be about the weather. It can be about email lists. It can be about other blogs. Trust me when I say starting a blog is something that not a lot of people do, but it's a business you can start for absolutely nothing. And the good thing about starting a blog is you create your blog in a specific niche. You do that and you get traffic to it. You get a dedicated audience. People come to your site, you know, regularly every time you post a blog and they're waiting for your next blog. Eventually, what you do is you start to monetize it. And how do you monetize it? You start dropping in links there. You start dropping in ads there. You start directing people to other things that they can purchase. You can be an affiliate. You can be an owner. You can be a brand owner. You can be a personal brand owner. It doesn't matter. You can make your money purely by dropping off your links on your blog site and getting people to come to your website, getting your audience, getting your traffic. And eventually, they'll start clicking on whatever your links you're dropping in there. It's only natural. It's what we will do. You've got to make it interesting. You've got to make it exciting. You've got to make it gripping. But start your blog. Start writing consistently. Stay consistent with it. Get your traffic and get those clicks. It's not a business model that a lot of people do and it's not a business model that a lot of people talk about but it's definitely a way for you guys to get started with making some money five building a course so courses can come in different forms courses can be advertised anywhere now what i'd recommend when it comes to a course just so you can actually make sales is make some money off doing something else and then on top of that create a course about it so let me give you some examples i sell iphones so it's quite simple i make my money off iphones now, I could teach people how to make money off iPhones by creating a course. It can be a video guide. It can be an ebook. But you create a course and people can learn through that course so they can make money the same way you make money. But in this case, it doesn't have to be just about iPhones. It can be a course about dropshipping. It can be a course about flipping items. It can be a course about building a blog. It can be a course about building a website. It can be a course about creating your own brand, just like I have my smartwatch company. It can be a course about how to do something like that and how to get that set up. But create a course on something you've built experience from. Create a course on something you've made money from. I'm telling you, when you can help other people make money, you're guaranteed to make money. That's how a lot of wealth is built. Teaching people about how to make money the same way you did. And that goes for real estate. That goes for stocks. That goes for so many different ways people make money in this earth. I'm telling you when I say a lot of wealth is built off teaching people how to make money. If you've not done it yet, if you've not tried it yet, you need to try that out. Just think about all those people who have different courses on so many different things. I'm telling you, even the most basic thing like how to start a YouTube channel. It may be out there already, but people want a course because it narrows it down. You don't have to spend so much time trying to you know, use different methods, try different things out. In this case, you're purely using one method that worked for someone. And in that case, it's more likely to work for you. This is easier than you know looking all over the internet, spending a lot of hours trying out different things. So in this case, the people who buy courses, yes, they're spending money but they're saving so much time and that's invaluable. I'm telling you, it can be the most random thing. You know, people were asking me last year when I was flipping doorbells, do I have a course of flipping doorbells? And at that particular point in time, I did not. Now looking back, it probably would have been a good idea to make a course on flipping doorbells because then I would have made money from doorbells and also made money from teaching people how to make money from doorbells. Now you see how a course works. You can get started for completely free, open up your laptop, go on a desktop and create your own course. Six, tutoring. Now I'm gonna keep this one short and simple. It's so easy to tutor people that are a lot younger than you because they will pay for the experience you have. So obviously the child will not be paying in this case, but the parents will pay for the knowledge you have. Let me tell you a few of the things I've tutored people in. Maths, French, Spanish, English as a second language. As you can see, you don't have to be an expert in any of these fields. But again, all you need to do is teach people who are younger than you. Tutoring is quite similar to coaching as well. I've also coached, as you guys know. But why I say tutoring is because any of you guys can do it. You've all been to school. You've all learned, you know, basic subjects. And you can make money off tutoring younger people. What you guys don't realize a lot of time is people are willing to pay for your experiences. People are willing to pay for your knowledge. And for those who are much younger than you will pay for it because they know you've done it before. Look, I'm not the best French or Spanish speaker in the world. But I definitely speak those languages fine. I definitely can go around, you know, in those countries where they speak those languages and get about fine. I can help them understand grammar. I can help them understand how to construct sentences. I can break down things for them. I can show them the difference between verbs and nouns, pronouns in each language. A lot of you guys can do the same in so many different things, so many different areas of your life, but again, you're probably not doing it because you don't know that other people are willing to pay for that. 
it's completely free. Build some connections, try and you know, teach a few people here and there, let them spread the word, and trust me, you're gonna to tutor enough people to make you a good bit of money. Seven, writing eBooks. I've written, I think, nine eBooks now. In fact, I think it's more than that. It must be about 10 or 11 eBooks. And that was all in the space of six months. It's not difficult to write eBooks on stuff you know about. It's similar to tutoring. All you need to do is find out what experience you've had, find out what you know a lot about, and just write about it. It doesn't have to be a 5,000 page book. It doesn't have to be a 500 page book. It can be simply, you know, a 60 page, 70 page, 100 page book. Personally, my biggest eBook, my longest eBook is about 150 pages, no more than that. But you might think here, I don't have the time for that, you know, I don't have the resource for that. Trust me, you do. Open up Microsoft Word and just start typing. Type about what you know. Come up with your header, come up with your title, and just start typing about what you know. There are enough of you out there again who have so much knowledge on certain things and you guys can write about these things. Write your own ebooks, create your own ebooks. It's not always about, you know, being a consumer, being the person who watches, who's sitting back, who's looking at other people doing things. You guys can create as well. Write ebooks. It is not difficult to write ebooks. Eight, freelancing skills. So in 2018, one of the first things I did was try freelancing. And actually it was a lot easier than I thought. Again, you can get started from completely free. Now let me give you a good tip here. If you guys have never freelanced before, it really is simple. Find websites like Fiverr or Upwork and trust me when I say, you'll get lots of clients. Show a little bit about what you can do. Even if it's the most simple thing, designing logos, building websites, creating landing pages. Trust me when I say, people are willing to pay for your services. You can easily create a logo for 10 bucks, you know, sell it for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. And the good thing about this kind of thing is, you get better the more you do it. You don't have to be an amazing graphic designer who creates ads for, you know, the big companies. But you can be someone who just, you know, sits at home, takes about an hour of the day to start, you know, creating logos, building landing pages, that kind of thing. I think freelancing is a great thing to do, a great skill to have. And the good thing about freelancing is it comes in many different forms. Just like I said, it's not just the simple things like creating logos, building landing pages, creating websites. You can design so many different things. You can become a good graphic designer. You can become a good photographer. You can become a good video editor. Check out freelancing and test out your skills. Because again, you can make some money that way. I've done it before, I've done it in the past, and I'm sure you guys can do the same. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you look at those eight different ways that I've made money in the past. But the main point I want you guys to take away from today is not that I've made money from them in the past, the fact that you guys can make money in them in the future. Use those ways, try those methods out, whether it's dropshipping, whether it's flipping items, whether it's creating ebooks, whether it's creating courses, whatever it may be. Just test them out, test out your skills, see what you guys can do differently to make some money going forward. Lastly, like I've already said in this video, please check out Time Gear Watches, please check out those links in the description. As always, we've got a lot going on there. Just check them out, see what you like for yourself. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I got money making, you got money making. See you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.